Welcome to Hiring America, the television series that helps military veterans find jobs and transition into meaningful careers. I'm Lauren Wonko at Marsh and McLennan Companies in Midtown Manhattan. We will be talking with companies that are hiring and with veterans like you who've made successful transitions into the civilian workforce. We'll tell you who's hiring and give you information to get you the job you deserve. We'll also help connect you to job openings. Log on to our website, HiringAmerica.net, for more information. And follow us on our Facebook page and Twitter. I think the biggest hurdle I've encountered uh, was translation of my skills. And I think many veterans can relate to the frustration I, I felt back then. I mean, how do you explain your day-to-day -day experience in the military into a corporate lingo? Uh, that was uh, my biggest hurdle. In 2013, Marsha McLennan, a global professional services firm, announced the U.S. Veterans Talent Initiative to manage the firm's U.S. veteran recruitment strategy, matching highly qualified veteran talent to job openings within the company. Joining us now is Eddie Dunn, the Director of Military and Veteran Affairs. Eddie, welcome to Hiring America. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Marsh and McLennan Companies has a U.S. Veteran Talent Initiative. What does that involve? It involves all the operating companies coming together and looking at the veteran talent as a viable talent to bring into our organization. We talk about this right thing to do, smart thing to do. Right thing to do relevant to honoring their service with meaningful employment. And the second piece is, is the smart thing to do and the ability for us to hire them because of what they bring to the table. The company benefits. Absolutely. There's no question about that. But I think there's something bigger going on here because you know, a lot of times we get asked, well, why veterans? And I think because we talk about the value of veterans in the context of what they bring to our civilian counterpart, but they've served honorably. They've come to a place in time in their life where they took the time to write that blank check to our country and said, I'll serve ultimately if I have to and sacrifice my life if I need to. A lot of them come in for different reasons, but a lot of them come in for all the right reasons based on what they're gonna gain for themselves along their career. I think we can do no better. When we think about our nation's veterans, our ability to transform and translate and elevate their value on a national basis, I think is the right thing to do. When you begin to think about how th their value has been really impactful to our organization at Marshall McLennan Companies and across the nation, we can do no less. Tell us some of the range of job possibilities here. There are terrific opportunities here at Marshall McLennan Companies. We try to make the best fits, and that's a, a term we use in talent acquisition. We have terrific roles in our IT areas project management roles, sales roles, HR roles, operational roles, project management, and the list goes on. There's some great fits there for sure. What are some of the challenges that military veterans face when trying to transition into the civilian workforce? I think it's complex on a, on a number of different levels, but it was really around the idea of the veteran talent learning how to transfer and translate their skills, attributes, and talents into these corporate roles. Um, it's not an easy thing to do because one, we speak different languages. The military speaks a different language, the civilian side speaks a different language. And when we get those two together, they have to figure out, there's that dialogue, that, uh, that transition, that translation that goes on. It's sometimes more of an art than a science. You spent 20 years in the U.S. Army. Tell us a little bit about that time. Yes, uh, spent my first three years active duty, 82nd Airborne. I was a, a logistician paratrooper. Uh, and then I went on to become a parachute rigger later on in my career, I'd gotten off active duty, went into the Army Reserves, and then I became a parachute rigger, became a jump master, and then I held the position of Army First Sergeant and retired very happily in 2008. What challenges did you face when entering the civilian workforce? For myself personally and professionally, it, it was a question of being able to translate those skills, right? What can I possibly do? Uh, and it started from the training environment I was in. I was a non-commissioned officer. Uh, I had those tr key attributes. Uh, I was given an opportunity by those who saw that value and gave me that opportunity, you know, starting at the very bottom and working my way up, proving myself just like anybody else, right? I wasn't underqualified or overqualified, but I was the right person for the job, right place, right time. And over time, I was able to morph that into my human resources career. I was a hardcore paratrooper, jump master, I did all that crazy stuff. How did I become this warm, lovable HR guy, right, that's been doing this job for, for quite a number of years, longer than I care to admit. But this is really super important for us. This initiative is in a place where I think that 
with the right amount of executive leadership, uh, Dan Glazer, our CEO from Marshall McLean and Companies, uh, Peter Bashar, Julio Portolatin, Lori Ledford, the entire talent acquisition team, all of our hiring managers, everybody's behind this initiative. Super passionate about hiring veterans because we see the value of what they bring to the table. You launched something called the 100,000 Jobs Mission. What is it? Yeah, uh, back a while ago, we started off with 13 original companies. And it's what it is is a private sector initiative bringing together all the huge corporations in the private sector and focusing in on the military talent. It was an alliance and a coalition of all these huge companies coming together and saying, we're gonna hire veterans. And we said, we're gonna hire 100,000 veterans by 2020. The whole core value of the 100,000 jobs mission was built around the three ideas. One, sharing knowledge between these corporations. Two, sharing uh, best practices. And three, sharing talent. And that has blossomed and grown because when we share knowledge, when we share the ability to share leading practices and our ability to share talent, it begins to build on itself and success begets success. The coalition right now has grown over 200 since I left the program, and I think we're close to 300,000 hires at this point. So it's, it's exploded. It's been a wonderful experience, far exceeded all of our expectations when we started. What advice would you give to military vets who are watching, interested in a job here at Marshall McLennan Companies? One, you have to be prepared. Two, you have to do your homework. Three, you have to learn how to translate those skills, because I, I honestly, I put the onus and responsibility of the veteran to be able to translate and transfer their skills. They have to learn that 30 second speech. They have to have a resume that is akin and aligned to the job description. They have to learn how to network well. They have to learn how to get in there and know, understand and help the recruiter, help the hiring manager understand what they bring to the table transfers into that role. For military veterans interested in a job here at Marshall McLennan Companies, where can they go for more information? We have four operating primary companies that you can apply to a job at. We're a global professional services firm, and each of our operating companies operates differently. So you can certainly go to the Mercer's employment website, you can go to Marsh, you can go to Guy Carpenter, and you can go to Oliver Wyman specifically to apply to their roles. Eddie, thanks for joining us here on Hiring America. Thank you. Thanks for having me.